Our other top story tonight, Amtrak has agreed to pay $265 million to settle claims related to the train derailment in Philadelphia that killed eight people and injured more than 200 others last year. Lawyers say survivors and victims' families will have the awards in hand by June. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live near the crash scene in Port Richmond with the latest details on this settlement. Joe. Jessica Yuki, good afternoon. And that infamous section of rail is just over my shoulder where Amtrak train 188 wrecked, eight dead, 200 hurt, a $265 million settlement, and lawyers hope it is a significant step in the healing process. Closure is now a step closer for the many victims of the Amtrak 188 disaster. Attorneys for the railroad and those representing the victims reached a $265 million settlement. A federal judge approved the deal, setting up what lawyers say is the largest settlement ever reached in a U.S. rail disaster. This is a settlement that from inception to resolution will be one of the quickest in the history of large mass toward uh, catastrophes. Eight people were killed, 200 others hurt the night of May 12th 2015 when an Amtrak train torpedoed into a sharp curve in the city's Port Richmond section. The train zoomed into the section of track at double the posted speed. A federal investigation found the conductor was distracted. Amtrak declined to comment on today's settlement. Attorneys say victims will be granted hearings in court. It will then be up to a federal judge to approve recommendations on awards. It will be efficient for these victims. And most importantly, it'll be timely uh, because they have continued to suffer. Congress initially capped the settlement amount at $200 million. Attorneys were successful in increasing it. If not for the deal, lawyers say 125 individual cases would have been left to meander through the courts. Absent this program, what would have happened uh, would be a, a course of 125 or more lawsuits going, for, going uh, forward. Each would have have to be uh, a subject to a jury trial. But there is still work to do. However, attorneys say they hope that all of the awards in all of these cases are handed out by next June. A live along the Northeast Corridor in Port Richmond, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.